Okay, so to start off with, um, I'm just going to say that there are no tricks or gimmicks included in this video. I don't have any flat tummy tea. I don't have any, um, any special secret things that you think some people may be keeping from other people. Basically, what it is for me is love your body, healthy diet that includes lots of complex carbs, stuff like sweet potatoes, brown rice, quinoa, all that good stuff. Um, heavy weights because weights help shape our bodies like crazy, you wouldn't even imagine, and the perfect amount of cardio. Hit and less cardio. You, heard, you probably heard, <laughs> I can never talk, it's, it's just frustrating sometimes. You've probably heard of hit cardio, high intensity interval training, that's very good to keep your curves, but you also need some less cardio, low intensity steady state cardio. And I'll explain that further in this video, so keep watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Mm. It might be a little smoky in my kitchen. I'm not sure. It looks smoky from here, but I don't know if it, it, it looks smoky on camera. I just got done. Grill us some chicken on the stove. You know how you got like a real thick piece of chicken breast and it just won't get done in the middle? So, I had that type of situation. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I wanted to do a video on... I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to name it yet because there's so many things that this video could be named like so many different subjects or I don't know this uh, descriptions or titles or whatever but um, basically I wanted to make um, a video on tips on how to get in shape lose weight um, and keep your curves not look too fit but I guess be fit be in shape be healthy without losing our butt losing our hips because that's very easy to do when I first started working out um, it was hard for me to find like a healthy balance between working out and staying curvy and that hourglass figure so I just want to give my tips on what I what works for me what I think is best um, so some people might not agree with my tips I just found this to be what works best for me through trial and error um, before I get started I definitely want to say that we are all different we are all built different we all had different body types um, so it's not fair to say you want to look like a certain person and want their body type and aspire to look like them and be shaped like them when naturally and genetically it's just not set up that way so i just really like to preach like self-confidence and self-love just making sure you really just love your own body before anyone else's like i like to use people as inspiration like i have a lot of ig instagram um inspirations i have youtube inspirations and that's exactly what they are for me they just inspire me to continue my fitness journey and to stay in shape even though their bodies are nice i wouldn't necessarily say that i want to look exactly like them because i know that you know it's not going to be possible we just have two type of body two different types of bodies just love yourself um, at all stages of your fitness journey. Um, yeah. I would definitely say to have, um, to lose weight, to get in shape, and to keep a curvy body, diet is definitely number one. Um, if you're not eating correctly, then it's just going to be hard for your body to shape out the way you want it to especially our mid sections our stomachs and our waistlines when we eat whatever and we're not watching what our eat what we eat and we're not eating healthy it's like it's just going to be hard to get a small waist and to, in order to get an hourglass figure in order to stay curvy you need a smaller waist so you know your butt can shape out and all that good stuff so um diet definitely comes first i think most importantly the most important part is to um, start off slow like if you're just starting to lose weight if you're a beginner you just want to make sure that um, you don't go I don't know you don't dive in head first basically like just start getting rid of bad habits and introducing new habits into your lifestyle so a perfect example I'm pretty sure everyone can relate to because I was guilty of this is what you drink so sodas and juices are just loaded with lots of sugars that just aren't good for our bodies in our midsection so if you could just cancel out sodas and juices and start drinking a gallon of water a gallon of water y'all a gallon of water is going to help your body so much it's like a natural detox it just flushes all the bad stuff out of you it might it may keep you you know full and a little bloated throughout the day but i promise you like the morning when you wake up like your stomach will thank you so you know stop cut, cut out fried food cut out junk foods 
or just simply like stop eating red meats eat more like ground turkey ground chicken and things like that so that's the simple thing so I think a well-balanced diet definitely consists of um, green vegetables proteins and complex carbs so green vegetables those are pretty simple stuff like broccoli asparagus Brussels sprouts kale spinach stuff like that um, green beans is another one that I like um, when it comes to protein you have stuff like egg whites um, grilled chicken um, fish ground turkey tuna things like that and then your complex carbs are your um, your sweet potatoes your brown rice your quinoa you can also do things like whole wheat breads and whole wheat pastas opposed to just white bread and white pastas so so diet is definitely number one if you want an hourglass figure you cannot get it without a good clean eating schedule so i would say breakfast lunch and dinner and a snack in between okay, so a lot of people ask me for beginner workouts um, i'm going to be posting more beginner workouts um examples on my channel i already have a few workouts that i've posted um they don't necessarily say beginner but i definitely believe that beginners can do the workouts the same workouts that i do the key is just do start off starting off with light weights so if you go to my leg day workout that i have on my channel a beginner can do this workout if they just do uh the very light the the least weight as possible the lightest weight possible um so they can better um get better with form and i'll be sure to post more beginner workouts but the workouts that i do have posted beginners can do those just start off with light weights um if you're not used to working out you're beginning and then your your goal is to lose weight i would say three to four sets and sets equals like rounds i don't want to talk in my gym talk and some people might not know what i'm talking about but three to four rounds of an exercise and reps how many repetitions that you do of that exercise will be 12 to 15 so 12 to 15 reps will definitely help you um, lose weight and tone your body as far as rest periods I wouldn't rest any more than like a minute and I don't even suggest that like for people that I help um, that I take to the gym when I have them work out I don't have them take any rest I know it sounds bad <laughs> it sounds like torture but if their goal is to lose weight we are not taking any rest in between sets. We are working through the whole three to four sets and then we can take our rest in between our, our set of exercises, different set of exercises. But by all means, if you're tired and you, you, you like if you have asthma or something like that, you just need to catch your breath, then definitely take a break until you catch up and then get right back into your sets. People who are just trying to tone and maintain weight, um, you guys can do anywhere from six to ten reps of an exercise in three to four sets as well. Like people ask me, they DM me like, well, what should I do to get a big butt or like or a smaller waist? So I covered the smaller waist with diet because diet is key to a small waist. Like, there's no amount of working out you can do to make up for a bad diet basically. So but when it comes to working out to get more of an hourglass shapely figure. Okay, so you want to start off. You can do same workouts as guys. Guys do pretty much the same thing that I do. You know, I have two upper body days and I have three lower body days. I have three lower body days because legs are um, more important to getting an hourglass figure. So if you're, you know, if you're lifting a little bit heavier, you're growing your legs and you're growing your butt. When you do a lower body day, you definitely want to try to target more of your hamstrings. That's the back of your thighs and your glutes. Excuse me. You want to target more of your hamstrings, the back of your thighs, and you want to target your glutes. So I'm gonna make a separate video on my favorite um, workouts to target those muscles. And but basically, I love donkey kicks. I love kickbacks. I love hip thrusts. Um, I love sumo squats. The elevated sumo squats where you prop your feet up on something so you can get into a deeper squat. Squats are good for um, butt as well. They focus more on quads. But if you're doing a squat to hit your your glutes like your butt, you want to get into a very deep squat. So you'll hear people say ass to grass. When you're trying to get an hourglass figure, you just need to you know um, have some heavy leg days. Like even if you're a beginner, you know you can do the light weight. But if you feel like you can do more, do more without losing a, a good form. And the heavier the leg day, then and the more it's going to build that muscle. So cardio is key to keeping your shape and your form when working out. So basically, when it comes to cardio, you don't want to do any long distance cardio, like getting on a treadmill and running for an hour straight. Like you want to avoid stuff like that. Like when I do cardio, I do two types of cardio and one is more high intensity and one's more easy. So the two types of cardio that I do is hit and lists. So HIT is high intensity interval training. List cardio is low intensity steady state. 
So I'll explain the difference. HIT is basically when you probably already heard of this, but you basically are working um, at your highest rate possible to get your heart rate up for a set amount of time. And do you have another amount of time where you bring your heart rate down and you're taking a break and you're going back and forth. Normally when I do HIT, I like to do sprints on the treadmill. So I will run for 30 seconds as fast as I can a sprint on a treadmill. I'll hop off and take a 30 second break. But for someone who's not as advanced and they don't feel comfortable hopping on and off a treadmill, you can definitely do HIT workout circuits. So that's stuff like you can do jumping jacks for 30 seconds, take a 30 second break, and then do jump squats for 30 seconds, take a 30 second break, and then hop into some burpees for 30 second, 30 second breaks. Um, I really like coming up with HIT cardio circuits and I'm going to start recording more to put them on my channel. So HIT cardio circuits, sprints, you can also do HIT on, um, on the, um, the Stairmaster. I really love HIT on the Stairmaster. That's basically like you're almost running up the stairs and then you're coming down and I like doing that as well. So um, HIT will definitely help you get that hourglass figure. HIT is just so good for women and um, hanging on to curves. HIT basically helps you hang on to all the good stuff and get rid of the bad stuff because it burns fat. But I normally might do one set of sprints a week and then I'll do a HIT workout circuit a week. My other cardio that I do is list cardio, the low intensity steady state cardio. So that's basically you're just you can get on a treadmill and you can walk uphill for 20 to 30 minutes and that's what I normally do for my list cardio like um and I really love Stairmaster. Like I'll get on the Stairmaster and I'll walk and I'll walk up the Stairmaster at like a rate of five for like 20 to 30 minutes. So stuff like that. Like you just basically are just taking a stroll. Like list is basically you're doing some cardio, but it's not it's not making you out of breath. It's just like a steady state cardio. You know, you can pretty much read a book, watch a show while doing this. And I also do that twice a week. To break everything down, uh, I would say to get an hourly figure, eat right, you know, diet is key, work out, lift weights. You would love weightlifting. Weightlifting helps shape your body like you wouldn't even like imagine or even think that it would. And then hit cardio and list cardio. Incorporate both of those into your workouts every week and your body will just naturally come together. I'm gonna to upload more booty focused workouts cause everybody wants a butt workout and how to hit those glutes. So that's gonna be my next workout video. So you guys can look forward to that. Um, and just don't forget to love the process. It's not easy, it's, it's not quick. A lot of people like to look for a quick, just something, an easy way out. But there is no, when it comes to this, like you really just have to stay focused, stay motivated and enjoy and trust the process. Don't compare yourself to anyone else because the second you start comparing yourself to someone else, you'll be let down within a week or two. Like, oh, I, I still don't look like that. Like I'm about to just give up. Like and you just, that's what you don't want because you'll stop going to the gym before you even see your results. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share this video to someone that you think it may help and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye y'all.